Mm. I opened this one up upside down, but it's still good, right? You want some? Mm. If you work from home like I do, you probably get up between meetings to get a snack or get some more coffee from your kitchen. But how do you snack in a way that you still maintain a healthy balance while eating things that you enjoy? So in today's video, I'm sharing some snack options that I have in my pantry that I tend to reach for often that I can enjoy and can do so guilt-free. So if you're interested in discovering some new snack options you can have during your workday, keep on watching and if you enjoy this sort of content, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, let's jump into it. So first on my list is Wickedly Prime's plantain chips. The thing I love about these is that I can order them on Amazon. It comes in a four pack and you can put it on a subscription so that they come just as you open the last pack. Now, the thing for me with plantain chips is you can get the sweet or savory variety, and I tend to prefer the sweet variety. Now, the serving size for these is 40 chips for 140 calories. And when you look at the ingredient list, all that's in there is the plantain chips and the oil they use to fry them. So like with anything, you need to enjoy it in moderation. And one way that I tend to do that is pre-portion the snacks I'm going to have for the day. I don't always do this, but when I do it, it's easier for me to just pick up one Ziploc bag full of the snacks that I have, as opposed to sitting down and devouring the whole pack in one setting. I probably couldn't devour the whole pack, but I could probably do some major damage if I don't moderate and pre-portion my snacks. So that's probably one tip that I would give you if you are a big snacker like I am. So that's plantain chips, you can get them on Amazon. The next snack I have on here is Wheat Thins. Now if you're familiar with Wheat Thins, you know that these come in a variety of flavors. I stick with the original, and I think for Wheat Thins, the main thing that they promote is the fact that you get 21 grams of whole grains in every serving size that they have. And for this one, their serving size is 16 pieces for 140 calories. And then once again, the serving size or the ingredients list is fairly straightforward. And that's what I appreciate about a good snack. Now, I'm dairy free, so this is not something that I do, but you could probably pair these with cheese, just like they suggest on the back of the package, and have more of a, ch a cheese and cracker situation going with your snack. But this, once again, is pretty easy to have in your pantry and pull out when you need a quick snack. The next snack I enjoy is mixed nuts. Now with nuts, you need to be careful on two counts. One, I am supposed to have a nut-free home because we do have a daughter that is allergic to tree nuts. However, I keep these separate and then also we've trained them not to touch anything with nuts. So that's one thing to be mindful of. The other thing is that the fat content in nuts is high, but it's a healthy sort of nut. So you want to be careful about overindulging in this snack because it could come back to bite you. But I would say these are snacks that are filling whenever it's almost time for lunch and I'm feeling like I want to eat something, I will reach for the nuts because it will fill me up or help to tide me over until my next meal. So this is Costco's brand of nuts. As you can see, it comes in a large container. This is two and a half pounds of nuts and it lasts me a long time, especially since the serving size here is a quarter cup. All right, so if you're a nut person, you'd probably enjoy this nut option. I know some people will add dried fruits to their mixed nuts and that helps them balance out both the sweet and savory side of things. And last but not least is popcorn. I think popcorn is fairly easy to throw in the microwave two and a half minutes and you're ready to go. The thing with popcorn is I go for the lightly salted variety as opposed to like the extra thick movie butter version. Um, again, I'm dairy free, so having butter in my popcorn is gonna wreak havoc on my skin and stomach. But the lightly salted version is a great snack option. If you're feeling adventurous, you could mix nuts in there, or if you have a sweet tooth, you could mix M&Ms in there if you're feeling like it. But again, I'm trying to go for the crunchy, snack that's also somewhat guilt-free and this popcorn does it for me. I don't typically have a whole pack of popcorn. I tend to have little help 
workers who are right there as soon as they smell the popcorn coming out of the oven they're right there to have a snack with me so keep that in mind when you look at the serving size for each pack of popcorn okay so those are the snacks that i tend to reach for the most in my pantry especially as i'm going through my work day if i need to pause and snack a little bit this is typically what i will reach for not to say that these are the only snacks in my household because we definitely have stuff that I should not be snacking on on a daily basis. But if I'm looking to keep a good balance of healthy but great snacks to have, this is what I would reach for. So let me know in the comments if you are discovering any of these snacks for the first time or if these are already a part of your rotation. Once again, if you like this sort of content, please be sure to let me know in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss the next video that I put out. All right, we'll see you on the next one.